fading into darkness. Zombie Drawages, Joe Martucci, and look at this graphic, and you know why I'm saying that here. The sunsets are getting earlier and earlier. I had Atlantic City International Airport. Our sunset is 6.58 p.m. tonight, and this will be one of many pre-7 p.m. sunsets. Our next sunset after 7 will be March 13th of next year. Now, you can still hold on to some late day sunlight hope in some places in New Jersey, but you have to go west. Vineland, Stowe Creek still have a 7 p.m. or later sunset, but it's going to go away in all of New Jersey by the time we get towards our Wednesday. That means more time for moonlight, and we do have the full harvest moon coming up tonight, peaking at 7.55 p.m. The full harvest moon is interesting. It's the Full moon closest to the autumn equinox. It doesn't always have to be in September, although this year it is. And as you could imagine, it has something to do with the fact that you have a full moon. It is time to pick all of the crops and plants. And when you have a full moon, it's easier to do so at night. Let's take a look at what's going to happen as we go into Tuesday here. High pressure still in store, so it will remain pleasant. But we do have a southeasterly wind, and that will pump in the humidity for the day here. And as we go into the later part of the week, the jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses, that can also be considered the storm track. It's going to go right over us. And as a result, we are talking about showers and storms mainly focused around Thursday here. Let's show you our future radar just to jump ahead. This is now 5 a.m. on Thursday. And I would say the timing for this is still to be determined. What I will say is we are talking about a few hours of rain at some point on Thursday. I don't think Thursday is a washout, but if you have outdoor plans and you can move them to Wednesday or you can move them to Friday, I would do that. The potential for severe weather is there but it is going to be highly dependent on what time these come through if they come through during the afternoon or early evening we're going to have to bump up these wind and hail threats if they come during the morning or they come even overnight then the threat is going to remain low for our monday night let's jump back to what's happening now temperatures falling through the 70s overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s at the shore and then on the mainland we're mainly in the 50s here even a few spots uh, that will be low in the 50s. Taking a look at our bus stop forecast for our Tuesday. Some fog to start off with our day for homeroom, but by the time we get to the final bell, it's going to be pretty similar to our Monday here. Partly sunny sky, very nice. Jeans and a t-shirt will do. Temperatures rising through the 60s to around 70 into the morning. And then afternoon highs on Tuesday will be in the mid to upper 70s for everywhere. Notice that southeasterly wind, the dew points will be on the increase here. So for our sea and sand report on Tuesday, looking pretty good here. Partly a mostly sunny sky. The only thing I'll say is we have a moderate risk for rip currents. Unfortunately, we did have somebody pass away in the Seaside Heights area in recent days due to the rip currents, and we don't want that to happen again. So do not go in the water unless there are lifeguards and those lifeguards say it is safe to do so. Of course, being that we are now in late September, those guarded beaches are few and far between. Let's get you into Tuesday night, falling through the 70s, but not going much lower than that. That's because we have a southeasterly wind and we do have a partly cloudy sky and areas of fog. That's gonna help to limit our cooling there. So upper 60s on the mainland, around 70 over at the shore. Then we go into Wednesday here. I think it's going to be a mostly dry day, except for some areas of drizzle, but it's going to look like this image you see behind me. Pretty cloudy, pretty gray here. Going to be on the warmer side with temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Here's a look at our mainland seven-day forecast. Again, we're tracking those thunderstorms for Thursday. Not a washout, but a few hours of rain will be around. Then we go to the weekend. Another beauty here. Maybe a little too chilly to lay out on the beach and just a bathing suit, but definitely a great day to be out and about, whether it's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then as we go into our Monday here, we're going to be talking about a mostly cloudy sky, temperatures everywhere in the mid-70s. We'll be back with you on our Tuesday morning. We're going to talk to you more about the week ahead, including that cold front coming through. You can go to our website for the latest on that and to sign up for our newsletter or follow me on social media.